as the bureaucracy goes, the funding went, and so they closed the recreation center. This center was closed in 2011. It's like they just closed the doors and put some locks on it. The building was a ghost. It was a ghost because there was no activity in it. Just the steps outside, they were all broken up, and you ride by and it just looked crazy. When we toured this facility a little over a year ago, and there was a, a senior citizen that walked up to me and she said, sir, are you consider reopening this building. And she says, I really would hope that you would reopen this center because the community needs this rec center. As the president of Holland Park Neighborhood Council, about six months ago, I told the neighbors, I said, let's open the Holland Park Recreation Center. So no one kind of like paid me any attention because of the fact it's been closed and it wasn't no funding. And, but the only thing I had was a desire. And then, I get a phone call from University of Maryland Medical Center was interested in partnering to open a recreation center. I said, gotta be God. Can't be nobody else but God. The University of Maryland Medical Center provides care to patients each and every day. And it's just as important that we think about the health of our communities. So we're very excited to be here at the Harlem Park Rec Center to provide access to services here in this center that the neighborhood can benefit from. I just heard that it's opening back up and I'm so excited that my kids will have a place to go, a place to learn how to play ping pong, pool, all the things that I learned to do as a child. From that point on, uh, Doc brought all his people in. The Harlem Park Community Association and in partnership with the City of Baltimore's Recreation and Parks Department came together with us to make all of what you see today possible. It looks a lot different. A lot of work been done in here in the past two weeks. The transformation, like it's amazing the work that they did in just a few weeks. We've taken all the trash, we patched all holes and walls. New flooring, new flooring in the hallways. They put the plumbing together, they put the air conditioning in together, they put in cabinets in the kitchen, they took down a wall, they did so much. We repainted every surface, ceilings and walls. Even put the name on the side of the building. <laughs> but the only one thing that's, that's here that I told them they could not take down, and that was the pay phone. It's a pay phone in the hallway. That will always remind us of where we come from. The rec centers are pretty important to the community because that's where you learn how to build relationships with people. You learn to have friends. So whether it is kids playing basketball, kids playing ping pong, uh, educational events, whether it is seniors getting access to yoga, or whether it is nutrition services and education provided to the community, this recreation center will help revitalize a needed resource in the community. To be able to walk in and see kids engaged and be able to realize that it was the partnership with the Universal Maryland Medical Center that made this become a reality and to seeing kids that having some safe haven, some positive environment that they can be a part of. So that to me is, is the biggest part I'm looking forward to. And now to ride by, you feel the sense of pride, like, oh, that looks really nice. And I think the kids are feeling it as well, because they are super excited. They keep coming in like, when is the rec center open? When is the rec center open? I'm like, just give it a minute. <laughs> this Holland Park neighborhood needs something. And so the graciousness of the university and the willingness of the Holland Park Neighborhood Council has brought this whole program together. And now we're, it's happening. We're ready to go. So it's been a journey, but it's been a great journey.